Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananiza. Touch your screen now. I want to tell you something and then it will work for you. Tell me about this will work for you. This will work for you. What I want to tell you, take it serious. You can even write it down. But not now, but listen. There's something that God wants to do. But you people, you're not aware. If you can be taken to heaven, you reach there. You'll find that, you know, you, when you look unto Jesus, you'll find that he's crying. You just find that his eyes, you can't look at them, is very red with tears, crying. Because the issue is, any time, if the father say, it's over, Jesus knows that he died for what? And he still love of all of us. I'm sure you understand that. Jesus still loving the sinners. I mean, the liars, the betrayers, the killers. He's still, so he knows hell is, you see now, some of you here, I mean, many of us here, if we can ask for somebody who's reached 80 years, no one here. But we, we know experience, we have experienced the life here. The lifetime we think we know. But hell is thousand years in fire. Million years in fire. You know, so Jesus knows that this hell is not nice. It is made for devil. It is made for somebody who fought, who wanted to fight God. I don't know if you're hearing that. So now, also, the second thing is, don't worry, the second thing is, now, you are Christian, but now you don't know who you are, also. It's contributing on the issue of the time is running out. It's running out, because you are, you are looking at yourself by what you are facing. You are, you are judging yourself by what you are facing. And here, heaven is speaking. If you can listen when heaven is speaking, they are mentioning your name. You can make it. <laughs> heaven there is speaking. That's like, it's like, you know, Satan is just saying, we are here, we are here. And there are many spectators. Angels are looking. You can make it. You can. Come on, come here. And others say, come this side. Come that side. Please, yeah, deny this thing. They are around you, but you can't see it. There's a lot that, there's too much activities than what you are seeing. Too much activities than what you people are seeing now. What you are seeing now is what you can touch. But there's something that you can't see, which is so serious than what you are seeing now. And you are robbed by what you can touch. So, this is affecting our assignment. Whatever, when God blesses you with finances, is for many souls to go to heaven. When God uses you, is for many souls to go to heaven. Whatever God wants to give you, is to make you to win many people. It's not for you to build a mansion. It's not for you to change from where you are staying to another, because you will do that also. But it's for you to win many. Because the house you are building, the house you are crying for, you will leave it behind one day. And you can't live 100 years. Many people will say we are grand, grand, grand. They are dying 80 years now. And how many years you are left with? I mean, for you to be called granny, how many years? It's possible that even the half of years that is coming, you won't leave it. But the issue here, Satan is busy here confusing your assignment, confusing what you are painted off by useless people, by useless people who have been won by Satan. So what you can do, you people, you need to know this thing, that God is watching that you can do what you are appointed. And when you do it, you do it without looking back. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because can you see when, 
Hey, Martha, you can make it. Joyce, you can make it. Carry on. It's the voices from heaven. Carry on. You can make it. And here Jesus says, oh God, please, oh God, give them time. I died for them. Please, if they don't know what is hell, and they don't know my impression of me going to the cross for them, it's because they were doomed. But you are faithful, God. You are faithfulness every morning. Can you just allow this faithfulness to reach in the evening? And then you find that the reason why God's, Jesus was just saying faithfulness every morning is because in the night you were sinning. In the, in the night you forget your assignment. In the night you forget that you are appointed. But today, you people, when you are here, I want you to look back now and see that you have got wasted years. You have got what? Wasted years. And you cannot waste again. You tell yourself, I can't waste time. I, I just want to do it like there's no tomorrow. Like I'm standing here, I'm speaking like there's no tomorrow. Like there can be a rapture now. And all of us here can go to heaven. This is the time now that you can stand up and say, I don't want to look back. I know, like now, you are here. Where is your house? Where is your car? Same applies to hell. You are here now, you are sitting here. Unfortunately, in hell, there's no chair. There's no chair in hell. You won't sit down like this. But you are here now. Come here. You are here now. Where is your house? At home. Where, where is your car? It's outside. Where are your children? They are at school. So it's a lonely place. You are alone. You face it alone. Even when you're in hell, you feel lonely. You are burning alone. You are just screaming your scream. So Jesus knows hell. Sit down. Because he went there and took the keys. I don't know if you're hearing that. So, I want you to listen to me. That this year, you people here must wake up. We must wake up as Christians. We've got no time to waste. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. I've got no time to waste. If I meet this one, sorry, are you saved? I'm a Christian. I, Okay, no, okay, I'm, a, I'm this church. Okay, is it for Christian people? Please, accept Jesus. He's coming back. There's no time. Disciples, after they saw Jesus going up, no one could stop them. After they received power, no one could stop them. The reason why we are failing in our assignment on what we are appointed of is because we are, we are lacking the revelation, the revelation of what we are called for, of, or what we are created of. We must not waste time this time. Tell them, but don't waste time this time. I want you today, when we are going to pray this prayer, I want you to find yourself. Why are you here on earth? Can you ask a person close to you? Are you here because you are married to Eunice? Or you are married to Jeremiah? Are you here because you want to have children? When you die, will you die with them? Are you here because you want to be rich? When the day comes, will you take everything with you? What about your wardrobe? Will you take it away? This one that makes you to do shakara. Will you take, will you take your wardrobe away? So now, this is the time now that you stand up and say, Lord, I want to find out why you created me. I want to find out my assignment when I leave this service. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. When I leave this service, I'm going to do, if I'm bound to pray, I'm going to pray like there's no tomorrow. If I'm bound to serve God, I will serve God the, like there's no tomorrow. And when you do that, I'm telling you, God will choose you for the best. Amen. Today, when you live here, you must find yourself. Yes. Do you want to find yourself? Yes. Lift up your hands. Ask God first. Father, say Father. Father. Say my father. my father. I know you have created me. I know you have created me. And there is a reason. And there is a reason. But today, but today I need to know, 
I need to know why I'm here. Why I am here. Ask God. Ask God. Ask God. Ask God now. Ask God prayer. Ask God. Where is Jabu? Ask God. Can you just come? In Jesus' name. Can you see, I'm telling this mama, that she knows God brought her here. I said, mama, God brought you here. And he told you, go there. If you go there, I will use you as a prophetess. So, that's the reason she's like this. So now, you are here. You don't know where you belong. If I can do business, if I can be uh, matching club, if I can be, uh, let me be a thief. Maybe if I become a thief, I'll get money very fast. Later, I'll do business. Let me be. And devil now want to kill you now. Because whatever you do it very fast, you know, you are just doing it because you don't know now. But this one, you came with her? She came alone. Lift her up. Today you need to find who are you. And why are you here? I'm sure you understand that. Can you tell them why you are here? To submit to you. You hear this one? This one she know, and no one can stop that. I'm telling you, okay, you see? If you go there, you'll be this, you'll be that, and then. Uh, if it was you when you are falling, you would do like this. Except because her heart is open. She doesn't even know, she doesn't even care what happened. Can you say in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. As you brought me on this earth. As you brought me on this earth. Speak once. Speak once. I will hear it double. I will hear it double. Speak once about my assignment. Speak once about my about assignment. my destiny. About my destiny. About my life. About my life. Prayer, 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 prayer. Just pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. In Jesus' name. Can you just pray for the last time that prayer? I want God to tell you, to tell you who you are. Prayer. Say. It. What is happening? Bring
Bring her, bring her. Hey, there's anointing on this man also. Come on, you demon. You just come here, Mama. It's still there. Come on. I can't hear you. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Jesus' name.